Well, good morning. Welcome to Backyard Bible. So, all of this stuff here. This is what I should be eating. You see, I recently had my physical and my doctor. Well, you can take one look at me and he knows I haven't really been behaving, but we didn't talk about that. He did order blood work for me and tests and all kinds of things that are going to indicate that I probably have not been eating well. I've been eating all the stuff that I like to eat and not the things that I should be eating. So before I got my blood work done, I quickly started eating salad and fruit and oats and things like that and cut out the red meats and that sort of thing because, you know, I was sort of embarrassed over the results of those tests, what they probably were going to be. Now, of course, doing that probably didn't make any difference at all. But it's this sense of, you know, do, having done the wrong thing and trying to hide it from, like, my doctor. That's kind of a human nature thing to do. Now, I don't want you to, to get the wrong idea. Having some of these other foods is fine as long as you do it in moderation and have a healthy mixture of your fruits and veggies and things like that. When you're younger, you can get away with it a lot better than you can when you're my age. So, I'll tell you honestly, favorite hamburger, Five Guys. Five Guys is the best hamburger and fries that I can find. I love it. And there's nothing wrong with eating that once in a while, but if you have it as a regular thing, that could create a problem for somebody a little older like myself. As far as breakfast sandwiches, the McDonald's sausage McMuffin with egg and cheese, out of this world, I'll eat two of them at a time. Probably shouldn't, probably should only have one, but I'll eat two at a time. As far as cheese steaks go, Gatanos and Wollingboro, absolutely the best. A small is over a foot long and probably about six inches in diameter. And to me, that actually is a meal and a half. For most people, it's probably three meals. So again, you see where we're going with this. I know when I eat these things, particularly in um, excess, that I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm sinning against my body's health. So I'm kind of like Adam and Eve in a way, right? When they ate the wrong thing, they were embarrassed about it, and they tried to hide the fact from God that they had eaten from the tree of knowledge. So um, that without saying... I've, I've done the wrong thing and now I'm trying to make up for it and trying to hide the fact we can't hide from God just like I can't hide these statistics from my doctor. He's going to know. He's going to know. And so does God know. He knows when we do the wrong thing, when we sin and then we try to cover it up. So it's better to just come out with it. Hey, look, I've, I've done the wrong thing. I haven't been eating the right foods. And then try and make a lifestyle change try and adapt my lifestyle to eating the right kind of foods on a regular basis, salads and fruits and oats and things like that, and a moderate amount of the different kinds of meats, and, and try and get that balance so that I can have a healthy body. And the same thing happens with our spirit, right? We should be doing the spiritual things, our spiritual diet, to keep us healthy. And that would mean avoiding sin, admitting when we sin, and try and make corrections to that behavior whenever possible. So think about that. Make sure that your spiritual life is filled with fruits, vegetables, oats, and good cereals, and try and avoid those issues that are more like the red meats and the cheese and the bread and all the other wonderful things that are out there that we sometimes get into our lives and really shouldn't. And then admit when we're falling off the wagon or slipping a bit and do a course correction. So I'm going to try really hard um, to have more fruits and vegetables and things like that. Of course, a little tricky with uh, Thanksgiving coming up and my favorite foods like pie and mashed potatoes. But we'll try and do our best. So until next time, that is Backyard Bible. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for all of the wonderful foods that you provide for us and the various food options that we have. But help us to both in our spiritual life and our physical life 
uh, consume the foods that are best for our health, whether it's the spiritual foods that are best for us or the physical foods that are best for our um, bodies, and uh, guide us to do that always. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And again, until next time, that's Backyard Bible.